Yo, can you hear me? I can hear you. You can't hear me? Can you hear me? Faith. good everybody it's your boy Shane Black back with another video and shout out to my Shane gang you know we just hit a thousand subscribers we just you know grinding it out but thanks for the love thanks for the likes thanks for the support I really appreciate it this weekend though this past weekend you know was historic in many ways with the versus battle between Teddy Riley and Babyface as well as my personal favorite, the 10-part documentary series of the Chicago Bulls last season. I really, really was, you know, amped for this weekend since I'm, you know, quarantined and we all under quarantine. And I hope you guys are taking the precautions and doing what you guys got to do to stay safe. So I hope you guys enjoyed that little skit I put together. I mean, it was so much that I could go into about that versus series and shout out to Timberland, shout out to Swiss Beats, shout out to the half a million people that were in there, me included. I couldn't stay for long because after about two songs, I couldn't I couldn't deal with the echo. I mean I know Teddy was trying to put on a good show, but uh Tim and Swiss said it best, less is more. And for me, in this day and age, all you need is an iPhone and all you need is just some good quality internet connection. And I'm sure you guys got, you know, YouTube, Babyface, and, and Teddy Riley have en enough money to, to provide yourself with some spectacular internet connection. But the mess was funny. It, it basically, it was a good way for us to be distracted and take our minds off this coronavirus and, you know, laugh. You know, the, the memes, kept coming, the internet is undefeated. But me personally, I want to hear some good music. I want to hear some classics. And I thought we were practicing safe distancing. Teddy Riley put on a whole production with like 10 people. The back, you know, I've seen the behind the scenes. So I could do nothing but laugh at that. You know what I think? I think that uh, Teddy was trying to launch his own streaming service. At the same time, his whole production was going down. And then he had people in his camp who were watching the live while they were recording. So that plus the audio was kind of messed up. I think he had too much going on at one time. And Babyface, shout out to him, man, because he bounced back from the, from the coronavirus. He he took it in stride. He took it like a champ. He was calm and chill. All right, cool you know what, we gonna do this another time and we gonna make it work. If you ask me who won pretty much song for song, I think Babyface won it. As I went back and watched the whole thing, I think Babyface won it. Um, Teddy, you know, it's a rematch tonight. Hopefully you guys can get it right and put on a good show for the half a million that was in there. Timberland, Swiss Beats, y'all gonna have to kind of put some guidelines down and let these people know like, look, this is a show for the hits, and you just, you know, keep it simple versus, you know, what your boy Teddy did. Now, yeah, so make sure you guys drop a like on this video if you liked it. Subscribe if you're new, and uh, rock with it until we reach 2,000 subs. That's what we're working at, and I'm gonna keep charting out these videos. I'm gonna keep charting out as much as I can for you guys. It's a 10 part documentary on ESPN from Chicago Bulls, Michael Jordan, last run, Bill Jackson. This, to me, was well produced, well edited, and very detailed in the first two episodes. I was reeled in from the intro, just 
hearing that Bulls music, hearing that announcer, it just it just pulled me back to when I was a child growing up. I saw the 90s Bulls. I was excited. It, it basically made me forget about what was going on. To be a kid again, to be somewhere other than, you know, in my house, because I didn't feel I was at my house. I felt like I felt like I was in the stadium. I was watching these playoff runs. I was watching these wins. I was hearing these stories and I was looking at the shoes. I was checking the shoes out. And me growing up in the 90s, I just, I just wanted to be that again. I wanted to be a kid again. I wanted to experience what it was like in this, in this era again. At six o'clock, I was checking out my sneakers out and I seen a notification. I got the shoes, y'all. I got them Jordan 5s, the 5 Reds. I have a pair, but they don't have that Nike Air on the back. So I got my pair coming. I hope you got yours. I am a sneakerhead. More videos will be coming. I need you guys to subscribe to the channel, like this video, and share it if you want to. I'm a big Michael Jordan fan, a huge Chicago Bulls fan from the 90s, diehard Laker fan always. But during that era of the 90s, you couldn't pull me away from the TV when Michael Jordan was on. The 1991 NBA Finals, him switching hands against my Lakers. You know, I was I was watching that in my grandma's house. It was captivating. It was it was enjoyable. What are some of you guys' memories from then? If you were able to, you know, grow up during that time, what do you guys remember about buying your first pair of Jordans? Uh, I have another video coming about my first pair, and I'll let you know what they are. If you guys can guess. In the comments, let me know what you think my first pair of Jordans were. It was very captivating, even though I was in my home. I laughed. I got, you know, inspired by Jordan and the Bulls. I got more videos coming about playing ball. I just, I can't wait for this quarantine to be over, guys, so we can get back to work. And I'm still working. It's a different type of focus, though. I want you guys to comment down below. How are you guys staying, you know, sane during this quarantine? Are you guys making videos? Are you guys spending time with your family? Are you guys getting a lot of sleep, a lot of rest? Are you guys working out? What are you guys doing? I appreciate the support. I appreciate everything this channel is, you know, bringing me. We just want to build and build and grow and grow. So shout out to my team. Shout out to the subscribers. You guys are my team. You know, we're going to strive for greatness. All right? Watch, watch all the recent videos. My recent videos of quarantine life should be up in the card. Click on them, watch them, leave comments. Let me know how you guys feel. Let me know, you know, what you guys think of that series I got. You know, I got more videos coming from quarantine life and I'm trying to interact with more viewers, more subscribers, more people I see come in contact with, you know, I'm networking with. So let's get it.